Hello and welcome to the Western Bulldogs podcast, Barkley Street. That's hashtag Barkley Street for all the cool kids out there. Easton, let's get right into the nitty gritty. Thank You've wrong. got a new beanie on As, and yeah, I don't have any fresh. new merch. Well, you're not technically a part of it anymore, mate. So, you know, you've got to be... <laughs> He's gone nuclear. He got. He was on the back foot, oh, and dude. he decided, "I'm going to lash we'll just, out." I'll just throw it out there and just see how it you landed. Didn't throw it, it out was there. Pretty... You threw the javelin <laughs> out there. It landed. Normally, it's the it's the in shiv the in the in the back where you can't really. But that was. Oh. Yeah. Oh dear, I so did. We're off to a good start, Bob. We are we're off, off to a, a good great start. start. So we'll see how a, this pans out. Consider I'm that a hard expecting no. Expecting a lot of feedback for the rest of that's the That's a rest hard no for <laughs> the uh, free merch for uh, Roberto. Um, so, what's the wash up from the, the loss to the Tigers? Do you take direct, you know, personal responsibility for it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've set, this, set yeah, the tone yeah. and we're off. Yeah. <laughs> we're off. No, no. In no, all serious, how, how have you dusted yourself off? How are the boys yeah, look, down it would, there? It would, it would, it would, it's Disappointing to you know to, to have a loss, but as we know, the Tigers are a, a good side, and we had the game looking somewhat how we wanted to in the first half. Look good in the first half, yeah. yeah we probably it was going um, it was going well, but probably it was a few things that weren't going a hundred percent to plan. Were there signs? Do you think even? Yeah, I, I think I, think, I yeah. think so. Um, and then we knew um, the Tigers, like all good teams, were going to do. They were going to lift, um, but unfortunately, we couldn't. We just couldn't match that in that um, in that second half. They got. A bit of ascendancy around the ball, which um, yeah. you know uh, we probably haven't had happen to us for for the start of the season. So that's something we had a look at, and we'll their be better pre- off their, next. Yeah, their pressure on our handball game was yeah, yeah. So they've done their impressive. done their homework there, and um, they, you know credit to them, they did a, a great job to to take that away from us. Um, but yeah, their their effort and intensity certainly lifted. Um, and as we said, you know they're they're a good side. Yeah. How was the review? Did you sort of come out of that? Eager to get another crack at the Tigers? Yeah, we, yeah, absolutely. And uh, what's great about walking out of the review is you walk out with a clear plan of, okay, if we execute X, Y, Z yeah. next time, we'll give ourselves a, a much better shot. And you know how close these, these games mm. can be and you can only have to be off by um, such a small such a small margin. It can be a metre here, two metres yeah. there, and the, the play will look completely different. So we'll be able to make those adjustments and we'll certainly be better off for it this week um, coming up against the Blues. What's the training schedule from now to the rest of the week? Have you got much? Yeah, we're at the main session, main session today. Okay. So we'll go out and give it a red hot crack. Um, uh, I think we've got tomorrow off and then a captain's run and then yep. into it. So team, when does the team get picked? Forgive my naivety there. I don't, I don't, don't know. know. Yeah, I don't no. know either. No. We probably should know having done this for <laughs> For a fair while. <laughs> this was one of the great frustrations. So my brother coached local yeah. footy, coached East Brighton and 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 down at Seaford, premiership coach yeah. and all that. And for fifteen years he would he goes, so, so what drills are you guys doing training? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. He'd mate. be like, I kicked what, the ball. Do you, what do you mean you don't know? So well I I do them. Yeah. But then once we finish them, it's sort of got and he would just sort of <laughs> he sort of sort of cock his head to the side what like, What's wrong with you? Like we just got different, different. My dad keeps asking me, "You got a main training session? Is it open or closed?" I'm like, I don't know, Dad. <laughs> My, I don't. It's open for me. <laughs> I don't well, know if actually, that's any help to you. Well, it but, is Mother's Day coming up this Sunday, and it should have occurred to me. But Mum, bless her, bless her cotton socks, Mum. I've been out of the game for four years now. She'd be like, "How's JJ doing? And how how's Steph Martin? How's?" I'm like. I don't know, Mum. Like, I'm, she, she, I think she still thinks I'm in. Like, I go, I take my bag. Yeah, I go, I drop, I drop my bag yeah. in the locker room. Don't play anymore, yeah. but I'm still, still around, still oh, around the it. traps. Yes. Yeah. Hey, uh, we need to address um, the most iconic uh, bulldog goals of the ah, AFL yes. era. It got quite the response. It got quite heated. It got. Quite, <laughs> Yeah, it did get quite heated. It got quite humorous too. Yeah. Um, the results are in. There were 771 votes, which is which is Fantastic um, it's a huge undertaking. I'm very happy to hear that. Um, do you want me to run through the results? Uh, yeah, I, I do. And I've, I I'm do very have excited. I've, and and your best feedback if you, if you yeah, have any memories well, off the top because well, there were some I, I good keep, responses to the rules. Yeah, they, they there are. <laughs> um, I, I kept one that I feel like summed up um, summed up the glory of the winner. Yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, coming in in fourth place was Stephen Kolonyuk. How um, flat out of ten are you about that? Well, let's be honest, you shoehorned him in there. Flat. <laughs> How flat's a crepe? 
He had got five percent of the vote. But here's my thing, and I, okay. this is a this is a you know public. You're going to go through this thing where those five percent no, have they the, were, the, those five percent <laughs> were the most passionate five percent. Let me just okay. say that they were okay. the loudest. They were right. I, no, I don't believe they were the loudest. They were the they were the they were quiet, dignified, and staunch. <laughs> I'm not shifting <laughs> off Steve Collin at Mountain, okay? Okay. okay. Only 5% of the vote. Yep. Chris Grant in third place. It got tight. It yep. got really tight. 15% of the vote. I was, I was surprised to see that. I would have thought, yeah, I would have an, thought an Granny incre- yeah, on the uh, would have polled more than 15%. Apparently, Chris just, Grant's think, furious. And maybe just Bonty's popularity if it was done back then, you know? You're saying Chris Grant unpopular. That's a big call. Well, the current generations, mate, on the Twitter, on the on the Insta. Kids hate Maybe Chris they... Grant, says Wood. <laughs> you heard it here first on Barclay Street. <laughs> Actually, that could be a new segment for us here. Like outrageous headlines. <laughs> Bad take of the summary, week. <laughs> yeah, summary headlines. Yeah. Uh, 16% Marcus Bontempelli. So it was so, time, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So the Bont um, uh, runner up there, 16%, can confirm the first thing Marcus Bontepale has ever lost, and we should all rejoice in that. <laughs> really disappointed, Marcus. Uh, yeah, and not only did he lose, second and flat. not only did he lose, he got absolutely <laughs> flogged. <laughs> absolutely flogged. Coming in at number one was Tom Boyd's goal against the Sydney Swans in the grand final with a whopping 64% of the vote, which is pretty clear. He was the number one seed going in. I think we all kind of acknowledged that. We knew it was going to land. But that is that is quite something. And there were many, many tweets, um, but this one I really liked. And we, we might have to us. get some music to be played over it. It was, I often try and come up, this is from Brad Rogers. I often try to and come up with something obscure that points to my superior intellect when asked questions like this. It's good already. But Boyd's goal was to dog fans what the na 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 in Hey Jude was to Beatles fans. That's good, isn't it? Round of applause. And then straight under that from David was BT was rather enthused also. So. <laughs> I'm not sure if we can play yeah. that grab, but no, but uh, you can uh, you can join the dots on that. So thank yeah. you so much. We're going to do a few of those during the year. Um, I've got one up my sleeve uh, for well, a couple list. of weeks, That's which I'm very, yeah, which I'm very excited about. Um, but thank you for all of your votes and all of your feedback. It was uh, wonderfully Fabulous. and gratefully received. Uh, before we get our next guest in, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's Lin Jong, by the way. Surprise! <laughs> it's Lin um, in recovery mode. I uh, can't wait to talk to him. Oh, uh, we've got Carlton this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're a bit of a bogey side. They're a bit like well, they've, yeah. they they have a sort of a good record against us. They had a good they, win on the weekend. Yeah, and they gave us a touch up last year when we when we played them. Yeah, they did. Um, so yeah, well, uh, as I said, we took a few things out of the out of the Tigers game. So we're hoping yep. to be, um, you know, backfiring on all cylinders and give it a red hot crash. Because we know. The yeah, boy's hungry. Abs- absolutely. I need absolutely. to feel it. Tell me you're hungry. <laughs> Touch it. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> just gives us back. <laughs> the, the context is important, guys. Save the energy, it's, mate. It's you pre- know what it's like. We're doing this show pre-breakfast this morning. I'm not sure if Ethan's had a coffee. I've had one, but that's fair enough. Um, Mother's Day. I, I just want to throw this one out. I'm not sure if you've got one, but if you can send in uh, your tweets, hashtag Barclay Street, What's your best mum's advice? What's the what's uh, any advice your mum's given you? Where you thought, oh, I'll just tuck that one in my back pocket. Um, You're asking the question, so I assume you've got one ready to go. Yeah, I've got one ready to go. I don't. You don't have one ready. <laughs> well, so well that it, that works you, perfectly. So yeah. I'll I'll give you one. This is from from Monica Murphy. She's yeah. she's um, featured heavily on today's podcast. <laughs> yes. Should be fair. I'm not sure if she listens to. <laughs> I did say to her the other Your week. Mom? I said, oh, you know, so, you know, I'm on radio on the other, and she's like, what's the show? I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> in three to six years. Oh, I'll have to give it a listen. I've been there for three years. <laughs> <laughs> she really does Big think you're still playing. Yeah, <laughs> she really <laughs> does. Yep, she really does. Um, anyway, so uh, this. Uh, Do you mum, have the advice or yeah, just yeah, 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 tangents? M- mum, yep, don't uh, go off on tangents. Yeah, no, she had uh, <laughs> don't wait for the wind, grab the oars. Okay, mm. so get to work. Get to work. Yeah. 
Don't mind that. Don't wait for things to sort of do it yeah. for you. Get to work. So you can tuck that one in your back pocket. It's, which is strange for you because you don't really seem like get your hands dirty kind of I just said get I stuck into just, it person, do you? I like, just said it was her advice. <laughs> I didn't say that anything about it or taking any of it on board. Don't turn it into practical use. I just said just give us the cheap advice. Okay. So that's all that's you good. have you're to just do. Part, you're the vessel passing yeah. it on. So uh, Eastern, send them in. Eastern needs some advice. The Bulldogs, they, the players, they need it. So get your mum's advice and send it to us, hashtag uh, Barclay Street. Uh, let's have a quick break because we're both um, pretty keen uh, to talk With to our, our man, Lin mate. Jong, a.k.a. Glenn, coming right up. <laughs> Welcome back to the Western Bulldogs podcast, Barkley Street. And Eason, we've we like to raise the roof in here. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Do we? Just go with it. <laughs> we were old. <laughs> but we're just gonna have a more uh, a tone of reverence today because our okay. man is Lin Jong. Welcome, Lin, to the Thank Barkley you, Street podcast. Thanks for coming, John. He's in recovery mode. He's mm-hmm. he's a wounded bulldog, and so I think we should uh, we should show our wounded warrior some respect. Lynn, thanks so much for uh, for coming on the no show. No worries, I've uh, I've admired from afar for a fair while now, so it's good to be on the show finally. What was Long your favourite episode? Listener, first time doing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, favourite Steph Martin by Country Mile, I think. I think uh, I think that would be a popular. He's a very popular guest. Yeah. It was, um, it was the coming on bristling guns out. He was ready. He was ready for a bun from the first first conversation. How are you, man? How's the recovery? It's good. It's going well. I uh, had surgery last Tuesday. Um, sort of bedridden for the whole week, but um, yeah, it's going all right. It's going all right. It's been a bit boring, but uh, it's nice to be sort of back in the club here and there now. Um, so for people who think and, and talk about resilience like it's a like it's a bumper sticker. You are someone who, in a footy sense, has really lived it. How um, how flat have you been in the last, you know, ten days, two weeks? How um, low have you been? Yeah, I think I think initially when it first happened, uh, it was sort of uh, really really cut me deep. Um, sort of sort of following that night and and so on um, it was pretty tough. Um, sort of a lot of thoughts going on with, um, I guess, the overall scheme of things and and how it looks. Um, but um, yeah, I've sort of like sort of been through that many times that it makes it a bit easier um, as you go along. Um, but I think the initial stages was tough, but now it's sort of like I've done this before, so um, I know what's happening at the moment. So yeah. And what's the sort of the road to recovery like from here? Have they mapped it out? The whole way, or it's just like just get through the initial surgery and so I think they, sorry, and they so they reattach the hamstring right up yep. near your buttocks there. Yeah, it's pretty invasive surgery. But close um, to you, how close to your buttocks? It's uh, <laughs> it's uh, a couple centimeters, I'd say. Oh. Mm. So I was feeling for the surgeon. That's there, pretty close. <laughs> That's right. But I think up there. Uh, 12, twelve weeks is the is the overall scheme. But yeah, um, I think I'm going to take this one sort of just week by week and yeah, just okay. see how it feels. I think. How important is it, um, and Eason, jump in whenever you like, but like just for your own sort of um, mental health and well-being of having the 12 weeks still be within the season, like the recovery is still. So there is that, there is the light at the end of the tunnel. If, if things go to plan that, you know, you could find yourself back out there. Yeah, I think that's the that's the driving motiva- motivator at the moment. Um, I think um, I think early days was... was is is my season over? It's sort of is this it? Um, um, but I, I guess when, once they told me that um, you know twelve weeks and, and you know there's still games at the end of the year mm. to come back to, um, that was something sort of um, oh that that was the main thing I guess to, yeah. to get you through it I think. Yeah. And what's this next little patch look like for you for the next three or four weeks? Take the listeners into what's this little rehab thing do? Are you uh, what are you able to do? And what um, <laughs> how does it you know how does this uh, go towards getting you back for the back, um, back end of the season? Yeah. So how next, do you keep saying next three to four? So? Uh, pretty tough. Um, yeah. As you two would know. Yes. Uh, plenty of laps in the pool. And I'm a terrible swimmer, so it's just like, so confirm. much harder. <laughs> um, and uh, just a lot of tedious rehab. Um, yep. I think first first day I went in, and you go on through these like really small exercises that that don't seem the, like they mean the much. Switch ons, yes, the switch ons of yes of the glutes and and, and the quad. 
and it's hard it's hard it's hard to to think big picture when they're like just do this and that um, you can never feel further away from an afl game <laughs> yeah. than when you're mm. literally concentrating on switching on yeah. a single so muscle the first, yeah first run is, yes. is the most first three to four weeks is, is a struggle and once you can get to the first run it's, will, you, it's, will you take some time off will you get away um at all um, the club's been very good in in previous years of giving guys would as we know this rehab part can be very tedious and long, mm. but to be able to break it up, will you? Will I think you well, Dunks is in off? Noosa at the moment, so I oh, can shout out to Dunks. Yeah. Up in the <laughs> I reckon, no, I think I'll, I'll try to take some time off, maybe around uh, the six week mark. I think okay. just the halfway point, um, and I think it's another thing that you can look forward to that is yeah. just coming back to games. It's like oh, I can sort of look forward to this time off a bit. Um, so we'll try and we'll try and uh, get away from the club and. Um, and the boys, but um, I'm sure I'll miss you after all. <laughs> well, send, send in your uh, nominations, uh, Bulldog fans, for where Lynn sh- should go for a holiday. Hashtag Barclay Street. Hashtag Glenn's holiday. Um, uh, can I just ask you about the uh, – now, Ethan, you're the student among us. Well, I think where's, Lynn's where's clever as well. Yep. Is it the Nexus Point? Is that what's the – No okay. idea. Well, it seems like the worst Nexus. luck you have – Lynn, on the field, the funnier you get <laughs> on social media. I'm kind of curious it's about It's a real, this. it's a real high watermark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Is that a nexus point? It's not important. Apex. I, know, I do. Oh yeah, no, no, no it's definitely not mean, apex. Though. Yeah, is it? Is it's it not like, apex, but <laughs> yeah, nah, no, it's not an apex. It's not a, It's not an apex. I know what you're Shush now. <laughs> Shush now. <laughs> um, we've. Uh, We've really enjoyed uh, your social media stuff. Thanks. I'm not um, even sure if there's a question, but well done. Thank yeah. you. I'm a big believer in, in, in taking the piss out of yourself. <laughs> and, and it's one of those, if you don't laugh, you'll cry type of thing. So I yeah. um, thought I'd just make a bit of light of the situation. Um, it's it sort of speaks volumes as to how many times it's happened and how many times the posts I've done, but but it's all right as long as people are entertained. So what's your uh, handle on uh, Twitter and Instagram? So Because people, if they're listening, they really <laughs> should, should follow have a you. <laughs> Twitter, <laughs> Twitter I'm, I'm no good, but uh, Instagram is at linjong46. Okay. But, well, that should yeah, be pretty you, you easy to make sense. the next injury yeah. to, uh, to have a good well, Let's laugh. hope we don't have it. <laughs> yeah, or, or actually, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah, let's not say that. Well, what's yeah. good about, I mean, Linz is really funny, really interesting, and yours is more flogging products, which is, you know, <laughs> each to their own. Yeah, whatever you're into, but whatever <laughs> you're like, into. Yeah, if you've got commercial interest in what sort of product shoved in your face, <laughs> then Easton's what, a good what option. Is the next, what's the next? Easton Wood Proprietary I Limited. Like, I don't like it when the two turn on me here. I prefer it. <laughs> I'm just You're the guest. Watch, we'll ask you the questions. The Feel free to. What's, uh, what and, have you got next there, po- <laughs> the, the podcast name really <laughs> should have been called Preferred Edition Out. That's <laughs> um, how's your mum? Well, speaking of uh, social media, because she's a favourite amongst um, yeah, I reckon, Lin Jong devotees, and it is Mother's Day coming up. Um, yeah, I, I reckon twenty five percent of my followings is for mum. Um, <laughs> I always get the the old inbox yeah. asking asking how she is and what she's doing and if I can upload something about her. But she's going all right. She's uh, she's heartbroken as yeah, well as me, but um, she's good. She 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 loves the footy so much. I mm. can't. Uh, it's actually hard to believe. Sort of, she never followed footy at all until I got drafted. Wow! And now she goes to games. Without me playing or anything, she yeah. yeah, she's a staunch bulldog fan now. That's kind mm. so, so of what, what do you think is her online highlight? Is it the jump off the? <laughs> it's jump I think it is the jump, jump off. off. The jump. It's, cool. it's pretty iconic now, but it's just really hard Technically to. Technically, not really a jump either. That's yeah, probably it's, that's it's, what it's, 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 well, I don't know where a jump yeah. becomes a fall. <laughs> <laughs> Gravity just accident. takes over. It's just. <laughs> and so leading up next? to that video, actually, she actually. She kept going back and forth because she was so scared of jumping off it. You, you um, and then she tell produced that at all. <laughs> you couldn't tell <laughs> that at all. <laughs> uh, so it's hard, it's hard to keep the quality of the content up. Uh, I could yeah. keep uploading things in there, but um, yeah, once they're really funny, then. then well, yeah. we just did a you know a Twitter poll of the four most iconic bulldog goals of <laughs> AFL history. Perhaps the top four most iconic moments of you know on social media <laughs> would be good. Um, we've just got three quick questions to ask you that we ask all of our all of our current. Players guests and we might rotate these through the year but we're pretty happy yeah. with them at the moment well you are yeah that's, <laughs> so that's, that's the important you needed to get one you're just checking your watch there Ethan. Well, it's well, I'm just having a look at uh, there was a couple of questions here well, and... why would you check your phone though because you're flogging watches at the moment so I, would have I, thought I just, I just tuned out to what you were doing you, you, you just yeah. I was okay. on board with what was if going on if you want to buy a watch 
Check out Easton's Instagram hashtag. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Jack. <laughs> Uncle Jack. Hashtag Uncle Jack. Um, Surprised they're not actually sponsoring the podcast. <laughs> you're a, yeah, shush now. <laughs> uh, um, Len, you are a keen basketball fan, keen basketball. They've got a very nice jump shot, actually. Thank um, you. Thanks. I uh, did notice that. Um, we're going to have to do that at some stage to a Bulldog uh, three-point. Um, are we? Yeah, we're going to competition. I cannot compete in that. Yeah. <laughs> it will not be good for my brand. Maybe you and I judge when we watch the other one. <laughs> um, I assume you watched the the Chicago Bulls Last Dance documentary, yep. and I know that you listen to every episode of the Bulldogs podcast, Sparkly Street, so I know you know this question. But So take listen. Michael Jordan out of it. Mm-hmm. Which player, character, which person in that documentary were you most fascinated by? Um, I feel like it's everyone would play, but Dennis Rodman has to be. Oh, um, God. <laughs> Does everyone say that? It, we've, had, we've, had, we've had what? One Phil Jackson. Yeah. Is that oh, Steph? Yeah. And that's why he was your favourite guest, because that's your pick. And that's but all just, that. just, I just know know Dennis was that interesting. What do you now mean Dennis it. wasn't that interesting? But he came into training, he's just like, he goes to Phil, I just need a vacation. And they're like, and Michael's like, if you give him a vacation, you, you won't see him ever again. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes him two days to go to Las Vegas, I think. Yeah, yeah. had to go and get him after three. Yeah. That's five to one. Yeah. <laughs> the worm will be pretty happy to hear that. Um, well, he's obviously listening. Yeah, that's right. He will, he will Absolutely. be. Absolutely. Loves to tune in. Yeah. Uh, what was the movie that terrified you as a child? This has been, this has been a this, genuinely I'm good question. This, this, have a long, this will be a long list for you. Mm. I you do saw, like the horror films, I grew, don't up, you? I grew up with Four Sisters as well, so I was the youngest. And, oh, and so that's they, a perfect no, storm. Yeah, the ratings didn't mean anything <laughs> when you grew up with your siblings. Um, so I think uh, I know what you did last summer. And, oh, yeah. And <laughs> Scream. Yeah, Scream, the, the mask. Yes. Yeah, that used to get me all the time considering I was- Used to. I was, it still does. But as, as a nine-year-old, it really got me. Um, I think those two- um, those are the ones that I've, I just specifically remember watching because my sisters were watching them. Shout out to Jennifer Love Hewitt. I know what you did last summer. Um, and uh, opposition player that lives in your neighbourhood. I'm not actually sure where you live. Probably uh, somewhere fancy. So Lockie Young. I think he's just moved out though. Right. Um, I think that's it. Is, oh, that wow. a, is that a general question you asked? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think Lockie Young. I think that's okay. it. Okay. There we go. Mm. Oh, Eason's right. got a whole list because it's in a pretty not many kicking about in Brooklyn pretty fancy yeah, part of town oh, it's just, is that with middle back <laughs> <laughs> hey mate um, that's all we've got time for because Eason's got to go and do some more product um, promotion <laughs> not sure making he while out. the sun <laughs> shines yeah, he's doing ankle bracelets or <laughs> some kind of thong or sandal or something um, so thank you so much for, for stopping by Barclay Street um, we've kept it pretty light today but we're, we were heartbroken uh, along with your mum for what happened the other week um, but we are buoyed by the chance that you know we'll see you again this year because uh, we are all in your corner mate um, thanks mate I appreciate love, you having me on we the love seeing you thanks in the red, white and blue good luck this week against the blue baggers I've got a lot riding on this not just per- <laughs> not just bulldogs <laughs> <laughs> chuck some coin on I just well I, we're not, man, here, I just work with come on. we've all got a mate who's a Carlton supporter <laughs> and you just don't want to give them a leg up anyway good luck happy mother's day <laughs> <laughs>